In this video, we'll be discussing about the Sinopharm vaccine, aka BBIP CORV. We see here it's a type of inactivated vaccine that's based on VeroCell technology. This vaccine is developed by Sinopharm Pharmaceutical Company from China. Now let's get to the doses. We have to administer the two shots of Sinopharm vaccine that's 21 days apart. But WHO has given 3 to 4 weeks interval between two doses. Then we head towards the efficacy. The Sinopharm vaccine has got 78.1% efficacy as reported by the JAMA, that's JAMA. And also there is a data from Sinopharm, which shows efficacy of 79% in its phase 3 clinical trials. But that data is still ambiguous because the participants in the clinical trials were 98% below 60 years of age. That's why we had different studies and researches out there that generally shows the efficacy decreases with higher age groups. Now let's see what are those studies out there for Sinopharm that shows its efficacy, its effectiveness and the counter against the Delta variants. We see here we have 5 major studies on Sinopharm as of now. First one is the Budapest study from Hungary. Second one is the Peru study. Third one is the Bahrain study in collaboration with Columbia University. Fourth one is the Sri Lankan study and fifth one is the study from China itself. In the first study, that is the Budapest study, we had 13,525 participants that were around 60 years of age. And of those participants, 50% or more were vaccinated with Sinopharm vaccine. But when the results came, it was shown 25.9% of the people did not have the minimum antibody level of 50 AU per milliliter. Whereas for other vaccines, there were only 3.2% in Sputnik vaccine, 1.6% in Pfizer vaccine, and 1.1% in Moderna vaccine. Note the lower percentage here is the better here. Another element of the study was when 80 year old plus people were vaccinated with Sinopharm, the 34% of those old people did not have the minimum antibody level. So in general, we can say this study shows vaccine efficacy decreases with higher age groups. Then we have Peru study, which was done when Peru had different types of variants out there. It showed that Sinopharm vaccine has effectiveness of 50.4% against the infections that surged when we had different variants of viruses out there. And it was also found that Sinopharm vaccine is 94% effective in preventing deaths. Then we have Bahrain study, which showed it was less effective in people aged over 50. That's why in Bahrain, third booster dose administration is going on of different vaccine like that of Pfizer vaccine. So this time we can say Bahrain is going for heterologous prime boost vaccination. Now getting to the Sri Lankan study, which shows that when we had two doses of Sinopharm vaccine administrated, 95% of the individuals developed antibodies and also immunogenicity were higher in younger population. Although 60 plus people had 93.3% immunogenicity also. Another aspect of study was that the Sinopharm vaccine induced neutralizing antibodies among 81.5% of vaccinated people. That's equal to producing neutralizing antibodies when people had natural infection. The Sri Lankan study also showed that it works against Delta variant also, but with lower efficacy. Then ultimately we had the Chinese study. It showed that it prevents COVID-19 infection during the Delta variant outbreak in the southern city of Gaonzu. In Chinese study, there were only 628 participants which showed 59% efficacy against the Delta variant and 70.2% efficacy in general when we account for less lethal variants. So of all those studies, we see the Sinopharm vaccine works well for all the variants out there, but the only concern is the older people. In almost all the studies, we have come to know that vaccine efficacy decreases when the age increases. So we can say that vaccine efficacy is inversely proportional to the age. When we have lower age groups, the vaccine efficacy increases. When we have higher age groups, the vaccine efficacy decreases. That's inversely proportional. Which makes the Sinopharm vaccine a good choice for younger people. That's why I call the Sinopharm vaccine a vaccine for younger people. 
आई होप यू लाइक द वीडियो इफ यू लाइक इट गिव टू थम्स अपर्टिक मैं वो कॉन पैटरी ऑन और यूट्यूब एंड मेक श्योर सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल थैंक्स